It's hot, dusty and a vintage car lover's dream. We're right here on the start and finish line. Nice and close. You can smell the cars running. It's the best seat for sure. Hundreds of spectators and competitors have converged on the hard clay pan track for the first red dust revival since 2019. Absolutely amazing this year with the three year break that we've had people building cars all over Australia from Tassie to Queensland to Darwin. And uh, we've got three times the number of cars here this time and half of them have been built just for this event. For the drivers, it's all about testing themselves and their machines. The pre-World War II cars were built to last. The car runs well now. It's, it's said it's done 650,000 miles when I bought it. We're probably up to about 670,000 miles now and still going strong. But some cars don't make the distance. Goggles are a must to see through the red dirt and a mask is recommended. How's the dust? <laughs> Tastes good. <laughs> it's also an opportunity to relive fashions from a bygone era. I think we've all watched Downton Abbey a bit too, which yes. helps. Yeah. Definitely Great Gatsby. And the guys come out and those beautiful cars get so dirty. <laughs> and oh. It's part of it. It's it is part of Red Dust Revival. Ah, yes. <laughs> Jared Lucas, ABC News, Lake Perkalillan.